What's up, everybody? I actually have a date tonight, and I decided why not share with you some of my getting ready rituals, which is not just like makeup and getting ready in the outfit, but also a little bit self care. I have been dating now for a while. I would say my last real relationship was probably four years ago. So there's been a lot of awkward dates in those last four years, and there's a lot that I've learned that I would love to share with you guys. There are two ways that I normally go about this. Sometimes I procrastinate. I completely avoid getting ready. I, it's like I just ignore the time. And that usually looks a little something like this. I got time for one more. And then that procrastination usually leads to something like this. And then the next day, that usually leads to this. I know for me, my procrastination comes from maybe being insecure about it. It's like a self-defense mechanism. I don't really want to go, eh, I'm not really that interested, eh, whatever. If I put in less effort, then there is more of a an excuse if it doesn't go well, right? Well, I didn't really care anyway. When I'm able to recognize that this is why I procrastinate and those feelings and fears that I have, I'm then able to work through them and make a better choice, make a different choice. That instead of giving in to fears and insecurities, to actually say yes to honoring myself, a little bit of self-care and allowing myself to be vulnerable. All right, the get ready rundown. Jump in the shower, take care of all the things. So now that I am showered and hair washed, I like to make sure I do a good skincare. Has anyone got any good tricks for getting rid of the bags under your eyes? Like, so if I'm doing a daytime date, I go really light on the makeup. But if I'm doing a nighttime date, then I'll probably contour a little bit more and I'll do maybe a little bit more of a smoky around the eye. But again, I try not to go too heavy on anything because it's like, it's not really your face. You know what I mean? I like feeling like I am fully and 100% me when I head out there. Now, if I have a zit, that's a different story. Mirror faces have got to be like the ugliest thing on the planet. Just like looking at my nose, poking myself in the eye. I love how my uh, makeup drawer is just super like organized and categorized basically. And then the hair drawer is just, it's a shit show really. Marie Kondo would have a heart attack. straightener even though I've tried so so many over the years is actually my still good old GHD that I have had it's it's an Aussie plug um, I've had this for probably at least 10 years she's an old faithful you know for me when I felt the best going out on dates is when I've done this and I've given myself time to feel the way that I want to feel focus on what I want out of it and just not feel rushed walking out the door. I'm also notoriously five minutes late to everything. Sometimes seven. And that's because I can be a procrastinator hard. I will start reorganizing my kitchen five minutes before I'm supposed to leave. Like, I don't know what that is about me. When I'm not late is when I'm focused in on what I want out of the moment. This is gonna be gross. You probably shouldn't watch this bit. Even better if you can get ready and have time even two minutes makes a difference to just meditate and be present and not even think, well, not think anything. I still haven't got that far with meditation, but to just breathe and honor yourself and tell your mind and your heart and your body that you love it, silly as that sounds, and that you're gonna put it first. Makeup done, hair done, perfume on. Oh, deodorant. All right, it is time to go pick the outfit which usually is the thing that takes me the longest. So let's go. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a nighttime date and it's a little cool. Alexa, 
What's the temperature tonight in Los Angeles? The temperature is around 63 degrees Fahrenheit. 63 degrees. It's not warm. Well, for me, it's not warm. I'm Australian. I'm not built for cold weather, obviously. I have an idea. This could be fun. Oh, let's do these guys. We have a skirt, a little high neck bodysuit, and some knee highs. I think that could be fun. Ooh, a sweater dress. I have a sweater. This is also fun. Doesn't look fun, but it kind of is. You with the same boot. Oh, super into the monochromatic like situation. That is a good look. Do I need more options or do I not need more options? Ooh. Hmm. You could go with some black jeans. All right, these are my options that I have chosen for tonight. I, uh, I actually, I think this is a little too sexy. We're not that far along. So we're gonna leave the corset look out. I do dig this, but I actually think that might be too casual. I don't have time to lint roll this one, so we're gonna leave that one out. <laughs> so really by process of elimination, this is gonna be the outfit of the day. Good old boots and a little schoolgirl skirt. Is that too sexy? Now thinking about this. Let's just put it on and find out, shall we? Okay. I... Oh no, I like it. I don't think it's too sexy. Right? I think this is a good choice. Now that I'm dressed, I do the lip. Nothing too crazy tonight. Just a little natural. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. This is finally happening. I feel good. I have taken care of myself. I have a fully charged phone. I am I'm sure of what I want from this and what my values are and what I'm willing to give of myself for tonight. Uh, that sounded like sex. I didn't mean sex. Um, I meant like me as a soul. <laughs> Should I try that again? I don't know. <laughs> So I'm dressed and I'm ready and I feel good and I smell good and I feel like I look good. I've done all the things and now all that's left is to uh, go on this date. Bye. Beautiful people, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will be reading them and as always, make sure you like and subscribe.